Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Salesforce with Megan. Here, I help you navigate the Salesforce ecosystem. So for today's video, we're gonna be talking about Focus on Force, a platform that you should be incorporating into your study routine. Now, we're gonna be talking about three different areas when it comes to Focus on Force. I'm going to be talking about the study material and then the costs for it. We're also gonna be talking about how you can maximize your purchase. So that means the little features that are inside of it that make so much of a difference for you as a learner and then lastly we're going to be talking about the benefits that focus on force delivers for all types of learners so before we start the video i would love to be able to tell you all just a short little history about focus on force it was founded in 2015 by ceo martin gessner at that time he had 12 salesforce certifications and he was accumulating all of this salesforce material and information that he believed would be useful for other people in the industry Therefore, it dawned on him that he wanted to create a platform and really use his knowledge to be able to teach people like you and me to succeed in the Salesforce industry. All right, so perfect. So now that you know a little bit about Focus on Forest background and history, I want to talk to you about learning. And that is going to be because you are relearning how to learn. So whether you're just starting off in the industry, this is your fourth or fifth Salesforce exam, you're going to need to approach learning in a different way every time. So you want to make sure that you're gathering with the material and over time saying, hey, I'm this type of learner, this is how I learn best, and these are the materials that I should be using. Now there are four types of learners out there. The first is going to be visual, and that means that you learn best by seeing. There's also auditory, which means you learn best by hearing. There's third, which is more of the kinesthetic, and there's also my personal favorite, hands-on. And that ultimately means that you're getting that material and telling yourself, hey, this is what I learned, now let me actually apply it. Focus on Force ensures that they focus on all those different type of learners because it is such a global platform. And at the end of the day, whether you purchase the practice exams or the study guides, that you leave feeling confident in your purchase and sitting down for ultimately your Salesforce exam. All right, so before we hop to the computer, there's one really important area that I wanna to talk to you all about, and that is how you can utilize the Focus on Force study methods that they use and incorporate it in your own way. Now there's five different areas that Focus on Force uses. The first is going to be bite-sized modules. The second is going to be the mind map feature. The third is the videos that they now have per section from instructors that are coming on and teaching you directly. The fourth is going to be the visuals. And then last but not least is going to be the note feature. Now the bite-sized modules are broken down into certain sections which means that it's not overloading you and it's helping you take those really, really, really important breaks that you should be incorporating into your everyday study routine. The second area is a mind map feature, which we'll go ahead and showcase here in a few seconds. And that is essentially just writing down and seeing everything that you've learned. Because sometimes when you're getting all that information, you hear it, you're reading it, but how do you see it? So the mind map feature really helps you learn that way. The third is going to be the visuals. And again, those are instructors that are coming in and they're specialized in that specific area. And they're gonna be walking you through the Salesforce org, the behind the scenes, so you can learn as they do and see it as well. Next is going to be the visuals. And these are little graphics and pictures to be able to really put together what you're learning and see it right in front of you. Uh, last but not least is going to be the notes feature. And if you're anything like me, I love being able to write down essentially what I'm learning and having little notes on the side really, really help. But most importantly, I love being able to customize those notes later on. And that's exactly what Focus on Force does. So those are the five really, really, really important areas that I wanted to make sure that we covered. So with that being said, let's go ahead and hop to the computer. Perfect. So now what we're going to do is we're going to log into my account and I'm going to show you all the places which you should be focusing on once you do have your own account and you do sign up for your own study guide or practice exam. So let's go ahead and go. All right, so now we've logged into my account. As you can see on the left-hand side, there's a whole bunch of tabs. Now here you can see the full list of study guides and practice exams that Focus on Force does offer. As you can see, if you just wanna do a quick ad, you can do that. It will add the bundle for you, which, which you're basically saying, I want to purchase the study guide and also the practice exam. 
here's something that I actually never thought about when studying myself was it's setting a goal. So what we're going to do here is pick a certification. We're going to pick admin. Then we're going to pick the start date. Let's say I'm going to be starting tomorrow. So from there, what the system does is they ask you specific questions. How much experience do you have with this cert? You're going to go ahead and answer, let's say less than a year. What is your level of work experience? It's probably a beginner if you're starting off your Salesforce journey. So study hours needed to 20. How many hours a week are you able to study? So it's really important to be super realistic with yourself. You just need to make sure that you're accounting for all of the possibilities. So based on the 20 hours that I put in, the system recommends that I take the exam August 21st. Now, this is just a target date given to you by the system. You don't have to follow it, but it's good to be able to give yourself an end goal to keep that motivation going for yourself. I hope that you like the set of goal section. Okay, perfect. So here we are in the configuration and setup part one, as if you scroll down just a little bit, you'll see the topics in this section. So not only is it broken down from top module to the next module, but it's broken down into little, little, little chunks to make it easier for you. So in case you take the practice exam and you need to go back and say like, hey, perhaps I wasn't doing good on the organization ID licenses part, then you know which part to specifically reference in the future. There's admin study group sessions and there is a professional instructor that comes in that specializes in this specific area that helps you better learn in a visual form, AKA just a video. So definitely make sure to check this out. It's actually part of the purchase that comes along with your admin study guide. Really beneficial, especially if you are a visual learner. So the last feature we should be focusing on is is the take notes feature. So let's say that we were already watching the video, we're sitting here, but I'm not really grasping what I'm learning without writing it down. So really cool is that Focus on Force does have a take notes feature here that you can just click on on the right side and the notes section will come up right here. You so once you have your notes in from that specific video, you can either print it out directly from the Focus on Force page, or you can save it into your computer and then print it out, redo it however you want. So these are really important areas to make sure that you're utilizing to be able to maximize your study guide purchase. All right, y'all, so those are the five features that you need to be using to be able to maximize your study guide purchase. So lastly, there's three areas that I want to touch on, which are really important and that you should consider following. The first is going to be the blog tab where you have articles written by the Focus on Force team, which are super informative for the Salesforce community. So the second tab is going to be Focus People, which you can find right down here on the bottom left. And these are people that Focus on Force has interviewed that have passed the exams and do have helpful tips for you. And then lastly, you do have Focus Videos, which is pretty much like the Focus People where it's an article version, except this is in a video version. So check these tabs out. They're really beneficial for you to be able to hear how other people use focus on fours and perhaps you can start applying that into some of your study routines and also i hope you enjoyed this video about focus on force you learned a little bit about it but i also hope that this encouraged you and really showed you how to maximize the focus on force platform and essentially your purchase at the end of the day it is a great platform i've used it for all five of my certifications and i plan on continuing to use it as i grow throughout my own salesforce career so let me know in the comment section if you do have any questions about focus on force, how to study, uh, what features would probably benefit you the most. And then if you have used focus on force before, I would love to be able to hear how it helped you in your own journey. All right, so that is all I have for you today about focus on force. If you enjoyed this video, do not forget to give me the thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe to the channel. It helps the YouTube algorithm push it to other people that this video would benefit in the Salesforce ecosystem, but it also helps me ultimately to make sure that I keep creating content like this for you. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye. He's so cute, Mr. Good Boy. He's so cute. <laughs>